What's up, YouTube? It's Chris from Chris Glass with another episode just to give you an update on this build. So, here we go. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember, but, and then some of you guys, this is probably your first time watching, but what I did, I purchased a 2023 Road King, and um, it was the police edition. It had, like, all the police badging. It had the, uh, the big shield. It had the police um, solo seat, and a lot of guys use those for police rodeos. But anyway, so the first thing I did was remove the seat, and um, I tried to, there's one of the episodes where I talk about, like, how to you know start off your build for your harley davidson using parts that you have so our uh, first thing i did was um i added this air breather that was one of the things that i had in my basement i'm looking for a chrome one or the chrome cover for that if you guys have one hit me up on chrisflies at gmail.com um, the next thing i did was i removed the seat and um then i got these bars so these are 12 inch um z bars i added some harley davidson Chrome grips. I tried a few of the different chrome grips that were out there. Some of them didn't fit and different things like that. I added on a switch for my uh, air suspension and um, I put these mirrors on upside down, which were the recommendation from one of the viewers or some of the viewers, but I can't see anything out of them. So <laughs> good thing I have these uh, highway lights because as you can see my reflection, I kind of use those as mirrors. They're so um, reflective. So some of the other things that I've done, I added the flush mount caps. So this is the fuel cap that is for the gas cap and these gauges here I installed because the speedometer, since it was a police edition, was up here. And then you have the RPMs. So when you turn it on, it goes through a variety of all the different color settings. You could change the colors from, I don't know, they give like, a, I don't know what the number range is, but you can add a lot of different colors by pushing buttons and stuff like that. So, now you can see your fuel right here. You can see your range. You can go through using the toggle button. You can go through a variety of different things. Let's go back to my mileage. And I have 633 miles anyway. So it has your RPM and your speedometer all in one area. So then the next, some of the next things I did was I installed the rear floor boards for rear passenger. And over there I have the tour pack which is a razor tour pack and some of the viewers said hey look man it looks better without the tour pack and so what i did i went on avan black i ordered the dominator fender which is that rear fender and i have the same amazon seat that i have for right now and that's the same one that i have on grady and it's been comfortable it's lasted over the years and so but i love the uh, dominator seat i mean the dominator fender and i added the long saddle bags these are the the five inch, I believe. And the reason why the bike is so low is because like I mentioned before, I have the air ride suspension on there. And yes, you see the normal kickstand. I do have the uh, kickstand, the center stand right there, but um, it's just faster sometimes to just use a regular kickstand. This switch lets my kickstand go up and down electronically. And this switch is for my air ride suspension so I could like lower it and raise it. Right there, you see that I've added the chrome Harley-Davidson shifter linkage. And um, this bike didn't come with any badging or anything because it was a police edition. So I added this Harley-Davidson skull type of a badge here. And um, so I got that on eBay. So, so moving up to the front, the front, some of the first things I did, one of the first things I did was I put these louvers on and changed out the headlight and then these two lights right here. And I don't like these. These are some that I got on Amazon. Um, even the ones that I've seen sold by Harley, they always have these like gaps and stuff like that. And I know there's a fix for it because I've seen people without the gaps on their bikes. And I like to get mine done correct or do it correctly. So moving down to the wheel, these wheels are by DNA. They're 120. 70 uh, 21 and they have the twisted spoke with uh, I think those are 52 twist, twisted spokes and one of the other things I did was I went on and added the, the chrome piece right here those were like $30 each they had the ashy ones at first and um, I went on and replaced this is called the uh, chrome front lowering kit by Harley Davidson that was like another 650 bucks and it came with the regular standard bells that go here or they call them fork sliders the 
stop right here. But what I did, I went on and had the, I installed the extended two inch frame slider or a fork slider right there. And um, if you have these uh, risers, I installed the risers on there for the actual wheel, but I'm getting them, they're starting to hit this top piece of the riser. So I'm probably gonna either like dremel this piece out or go back down to where they're two inches shorter. So on this side of the bike, I already mentioned, one of the first things I changed was the air breather and that I want chrome. And um, the other thing I did, I did, uh, the first thing that I was supposed to get was the Samson full system with the fishtails in the back to hang out, but they never came. Kept saying two more weeks, two more weeks, two more weeks, three weeks, and I just got tired of waiting. So those are the factory headers and um, I went on and, and I deleted or I removed the cats for sound. So what I'm doing, I uh, wanted to see how it is to just remove the baffle. So what I did was I removed the tin cover off of the area where the, uh, com the uh, catalytic converter is and um, left the headers installed. And um, there is a drill bit that you use right here. It's an auger bit and um, it is pretty long. And um, you go ahead and start drilling out and you'll start getting clunks of this stuff to come out. And then today I went and I bought this two and, I think it's two and a quarter inch. Um, and then I got the rest of it out. It was out good enough yesterday. I turned the bike on, it blew the rest of it out. It won't go up. But uh, today this did the rest of uh, the cleaning, so. And these are the Tab 50 Cal mufflers with the um, zombie baffles. And they're pretty loud as you can hear on the video, but I need to do a ride by video so you can actually hear. And those are some of the upgrades that I've done so far. And the ones, the upgrades that I have remaining is to put the actual rear wheel on, which is gonna be a hard sell for me because can't see it at all except for when the bike is fully lifted up and I'm riding but it's in motion but I'm just gonna have to do it just for the white wall and I might not get the twister spoke but put some spoke on there so so far so good I just bought this bike um, a few months ago and you can see that video on my YouTube channel as well and how it started and where it is now and um, this is just the beginning I want to get the uh, foot controls, the you know the, the pedals, pads, all that stuff on the bike to uh, add more chrome to it. They have like this chrome cover that goes right here. I want to add to it, and um, just you know, I guess from this point on, you just keep adding chrome pieces. Or some people say, "Man, it's done. Leave it alone." But I do actually do need to get the chrome switch housings, the uh, chrome levers up here to make it all consistent in chrome. And I still do need to get those chrome calipers, which that's super expensive. Um, $954 just for that piece. And then to get all this chrome is another 900 bucks for all those parts. So. I do, if I decide to keep this bike, I do want to put maybe the uh, Carlini because that's traditional, Carlini bars. These are 12s, maybe in a 14, but even with these 12s, they're a little high up. I'm 5'10", and the reach on my 12s are perfect, but for the style, you want to go ahead and get the Carlini, lift it up. I'm not going to put a windshield on here. I love riding this bike, feeling the wind, especially on hot days when it's 90 and above. So, so that's where we are. I don't like, somebody said, if you get a vehicle bike, you build a vehicle bike, they ride like trash. And um, this very bumpy, I would attribute that to a lot of the roads here in DC or the DC, Maryland, Virginia area with potholes and bumps. And some of the parts, some of the, the highways have actually like, feels like speed bumps on them. So, but anyway, these bikes are super bumpy 
when you have them lowered, you raise them up so you can put them at ride height and then just drop it down just a little bit so you can so you can ride with it, but it's still bumpy. And um, I'm considering removing the air, the air suspension and the uh, center stand. I wanna probably, act, if I'm keeping this, I'm gonna remove those for sure. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the Screaming Eagle Olin's um, suspension on the rear with the canisters. They don't have chrome canisters, they have black. And yeah, for a vehicle, it's supposed to be low. You're supposed to have the fishtails, but I need to be able to ride and be comfortable. So I know these are just like to bar hop, but I like actually doing just a little bit of riding on it. The furthest I went was about two to 300 miles on this. And um, it wasn't too bad, but uh, with the bumps here in this area, I gotta put something different on if I keep it. Um, yeah, I do have those other two bikes to take the trips with, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, I'll just leave it at that, we'll see. So if you're interested in buying this bike or any of the other bikes, hit me up on chrisglides at gmail.com and um, let's talk some numbers. I um, This bike has like 633 some miles on it. But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and sell it now as it is. 633 miles and um, it's ready. If you wanna buy it, hit me up. I don't even know, I don't have an idea yet of how much I would sell it for. Possibly, I don't know, 28. I don't know. But um, there's Storm. You guys know Storm has a whole bunch of stuff on it. Um, if you go to one of the videos that I have Storm on and you look in the description, you'll see all the parts and things that I've added. Recently, I went on and put the ST windshield on. People ask, am I getting a lot of wind? No. However, they made this with this little tiny lip here. I get the same amount of protection as if I had the 10 inch or the 12 inch windshield on there. I added the luggage rack. You all seen the videos with all the light that I have on this thing and um, custom dynamics, custom dynamics below, custom dynamics on the license plate, right light. This is Harley Davidson. So, but yeah, these bikes are all for sale. I'm getting ready for something else. So there's another bike that Harley's coming out with that I want, that I'm interested in. I don't know when it'll be out, but I'm about to prepare for it. So this has the uh, Bassani exhaust, really different type of sound, lots of grumble. And um, when you're on this thing riding on the highway, it's fast, it sounds wicked. Fog lights, Grady is also still for sale. I will still let Grady go for 28. 28,000 if you want it. It's got the 131 engine, all these different Advan black parts. That's Harley. All these different Advan black parts here. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight speakers. Advan blacks in the console. It's already got the bars, heated, Empire Collection grip, Empire Collection, everything on this bike. And there's just so many parts on here to name right now. The video would take crazy long to even go through all the parts that is on either one of these bikes. So if you look at the individual videos or go through the videos on my content, you'll see everything that these bikes have on them. And uh, Grady also has a 21 inch front wheel with the wraparound fender by Avan Black. Front lowers with the lights in them. I mean, this bike has everything. And you will never hear a bike sound as good as this bike does. And I'm gonna tell you, when you pull up to other road glides on this bike, it makes those other ones look small. Grady's uh, super sized, so <laughs> you can kind of see the difference. I mean, if I put them side by side, you could tell. Um, but that's because this one's actually a limited. And this one's just actually the uh, road glide. But next to other road glides, still the same thing. It's just a limited that's got some beefed up body parts on it and the raised up front end from the 21 inch wheel. That's also the tour pack that's gonna come with blade. 
So you guys let me know, cause you can come pick them up. I said, I think around 28, I'm not sure. I gotta total up all the money that I've been putting into this thing. So like 28, let's do this one for, let's see, what were these, like 60? Some people were getting charged 60. I got charged 42 for this and put a whole bunch of parts on there. Give me high bid, 35, low bid, 32. Low bid, 31, 31,000 for this one. 28,000 for this one. 28,000 for that one. And it's yours. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Chris Flies. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me, looking at all the bikes, going through all the different add-ons for a blade. Thank you guys for hanging in there. I know you had to fast forward through some of the slow moments and stuff like that, but I will see you guys out there on the road. I'm always at either Old Glory Harley Davidson or always at um, Harley Davidson of Washington the majority of the time when I'm at a dealership. And so I see a lot of you guys out there and uh, I always enjoy seeing you guys and um, see you guys next time. All right, later. <laughs>